Anyway, can we were talk, talking can about, we talk uh, about that space yeah. <laughs> no, we got to go down the list. Dead space is last. <laughs> Best for no! last. I don't care um, about anything else. <laughs> Uh, Lost in Random is uh, actually looks really cool. It's a beautiful gothic looking uh, action adventure game. It looks basically like it pops straight out of Tim Burton's mind. Um, it basically has me just on that aesthetic. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm done. I'll try it whenever it comes out. EA plays part of uh, Game Pass now, so uh, zero entry if you're already an active subscriber, I'm assuming. Uh, Knockout City, the uh, surprise smash hit by Valen Studios, announced Season 2, which includes new maps, uh, I guess a new ball, I don't know what that means within the context of the game, whether it does, like, different abilities or whatever. Uh, there's new playlists and rewards. I'm honestly kind of surprised that game survived past launch, because it looked kind of eh, uh, from, from, like, all the preview coverage, but, yeah, people are actually super crazy about, um... Knockout City, so congrats to the devs for being able to pull it off. Yeah, I like I haven't played it myself, but like there was a lot of good press about it when it was released. Like I saw a lot of streamers really getting into it and uh seemed to be having a lot of fun with it. So I I still haven't played it. I I was like always because like I think it was like a free trial for like the first seven days or something. Like anyone so, yeah. could get in and play it. And I kept meaning to like try it out or something, but just never got around to it. So but mm-hmm. good to see it's doing well. Let's see. I, I'll just maybe just even a slight small little tangent. I, th- I think it's cool that there's a lot of big multiplayer games that are out there now that aren't necessarily rated M or like shooters because I don't know. I, I have nephews and stuff that want to play games. I'm just like, oh yeah, maybe you shouldn't play Call of Duty. Maybe you shouldn't. Uh, even maybe Fortnite to extent it's on the cartoony side, but it's good to. Oh, someone's calling me. You should not be calling me when I'm doing my podcast, friendo. Uh, I need to put myself on do not disturb. Uh, shit, that's my bad. I guess I'll, I'll flip my friend off tomorrow. I'll see. Did someone say "Calling" the arguably best song that's ever been in the world ends with you? Oh God, damn it! <laughs> I will take um, no argument. Let's see. Apex Legends announced its new season with Emergence that's launching on August 3rd, along with a new character uh, named Seer. Um, looks cool. It's another character like kind of in the line of Bloodhound, which is the person I main, so I'm down for it. The only thing I know about Seer is that everyone is saying he's hot. Everyone's horny for Seer. Yeah, so... I, I haven't played it. I, I played Apex Legends when it launched and then haven't touched it since then. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield 2042 announced the new mode Battlefield Portal, which lets players bring in aspects in 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3 in custom games. So if you want like a small platoon of like future soldiers versus like an entire platoon of like World War II soldiers, then you can absolutely go for it. It's 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 some dumb fun. That that really that really sounds like yeah like you said dumb fun like a nice mode or however they're doing it where you get to mess around and not just like be straightforward all serious sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. You, you can have some good dumb stuff of, of like or just even like like I heard someone describe it as like when, when you're uh, when you're on a playground being like who would win like ten future soldiers or like a thousand World War Two dudes with pistols. Yeah, it's it like, it, ha- it has real five year olds playing with whatever toys they have on hand. Energy, you know, like the stormtrooper versus the ninja turtle or whatever is going on. Mm-hmm. And now we can get to the real. Hold on. Sorry, I again, I am still sick. Uh, what I wanted to say was whoever made that like joke on the whole Reddit meme where it's like who who would win the fight. 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck, <laughs> the one with the little like bomb, bomb, bomb diffuser droids versus the giant tank. I would buy Battlefield just to play that on a regular basis. <laughs> Honest to God, I would play that on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> like, that looks so much dumb fun. And I mean, also, I'm not in the Battlefield, but I'm happy people get to play like the stuff they really like about Battlefield. Like, that's cool. But on you guys, I'm happy for you, but I also don't really care. 
Uh, let's, let's get to the fun part. So we, we talked about it a bit. Um, we actually had some pretty good timing because I had that thing in the notes for, I think I, I want to say like a week or two beforehand, <laughs> but uh, we did this show and then like what, two, three days later, they, they formally announced that Dead Space, rem- uh, not remastered, uh, Dead Space Remake is going to be a real thing. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I've kind of sufficiently covered my thoughts on it. Um, but Sarah, if you want to go ahead since you were on there. Grace, dead space, dead space. I am so dumbly excited for this. No no other game has almost made me piss myself save for the original Dead Space, because that game scared the shit out of me when I was a child. Wait, was it piss or shit? You gotta pick one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, like honest to God, I like I'm the stoic. I love horror now, but as a kid, I couldn't walk like three steps in Dead Space without busting out crying. Like that game, honest to God, scared the hell out of out of me. And I've been wanting another horror game to do that. Like Red Evil's gotten close with like seven and eight getting more back into the horror stuff, but like nothing can reenact what Dead Space One did. So like just the fact that they're like, okay, we're just gonna do that again. But we're also going to mix in floor aspects that was brought in with Dead Space 2 and 3 and with the animated film and with the comics and with the books. Like, I'm just like, I am here for it. Like, it, and plus, like, so the rumor that was going around before all this, before it was announced, was that the, the developers were heavily influenced by the Resident Evil 2 remake. So... Like, if that's the way that they're going with it, it's not just going to be a remake of Dead Space. There's going to be different stuff in it. Resident Evil 2 remake, while it was very close to the original, wasn't a full-on remake. It still had its differences. So, like, I'm I'm just, I'm, I, like, I had words, but they're gone, because I just obviously blew my nose so hard my brains came out, but, like... To just help you on that point, like while Resident Evil 2 and 3 take a lot of cues from the original games, they do take liberties adding new portions and yeah. just kind of doing their own thing here and there. Like, like Resident Evil 2 Remake is fundamentally not the same game as Resident Evil 2. They are, no. it's, it's not a one to one at all. And they've even, like, because so when they announced it, IGN released an article where they interviewed the, the two guys who were like the heads on the project and they flat out said, oh, well, there was like lore stuff that was brought up in in Dead Space One that was super confusing because it was hella open ended lore, but then that was then covered in Dead Space Two and even in Three. So they're like, okay, so we're just going to stream streamline that. No longer is it just open lore. There's references to the stuff that Two mentions. Like there's references to stuff that Three mentions. So like they're making it more not a streamlined experience like gameplay wise but like story wise they're making it a little bit easier to understand which kind of rules and then they're also working at it to where they're like we want to make not just the original game but what they they had the i guess they are they were saying they had the original files of the first game and they used what modders have found like i think they brought up in the first section when you're running through the hallways from all the necromorphs and and stuff originally they were going to have you run a different way because mm-hmm. like I, I i guess they found a hall that was fully modeled that was never used and they came to the con- conclusion oh you were supposed to run this way and not this way so something changed in 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 development so I, the I, developers I, working on this remake have been like oh well, what if you run that other way mm-hmm. type of type of thing and that sounds like, really cool to me like honestly one of my favorite things about the resident evil 2 and 3 <laughs> remake and i i believe that specific example you cited like they said it was due to like some kind of technical limitation yeah, wanted to do like a cooler a high um, hallway but uh what, one of my favorite things about the 2 remake is that it really fucks with your expectations if you've played that original game like when you first go through that hallway where the liquor is supposed to show up, it just doesn't show up that yeah. first time. And then you're just you're, you're just going down a different hallway like, okay, yeah, everything's fine. Oh, that liquor you're worried about? Now it's there. It's, uh... I, if, there, if there's even just subtle divergences, I'm totally fucking down for that to shake things up. See, th- th- it's funny you bring that up, because, like, the one thing I remember... I, I played Resident Evil 2, like, a demo or, like, a very short period of it and the only thing i remembered from the original game was the liquor coming through the window and so 
I was just waiting for it in Resident in the remake when I was playing it, but I didn't know where it was. So like when it actually happened, I was still prepared for it. So it's it's mm-hmm. kind of funny that you bring bring that up as like a twist when I didn't even realize it. I was just like, oh, I misremembered where this came, where this liquor was. Uh, anyway, sorry. That's all good. Um, they also <laughs> announced so that there's excited. not. Yeah, they announced there's not going to be any um, microtransactions or anything like that. So if people are worried about that, then you're good to go. Which I mean, it wasn't in the base game, so I don't see how they would really add it because i don't know three has a lot of issues i don't think micro actions were necessarily an issue with three so much as like the core design but i mean um, ea finds a way if EA they wanted to add <laughs> microtransactions, they would they would find a way um shoot what was i going to say earlier Forget- oh i know this is the unpopular opinion and definitely other mutuals on twitter and whatnot have, have not agreed um, as someone who just who has been streaming this um, on Twitch and whatnot, and just kind of even playing on off off uh, stream whatever, uh, Dead Space One, I would argue very desperately needs a remake, not just a remaster. So I'm very glad they're taking this approach. Um, I mean, it's on 360. It looks like a 360 game from like over 11 years ago. Um, the PC version's kind of fucked unless you fuck with it a little bit. But, like, just just even the way it controls, the way the you can't really play too well with mouse, there's another fix, but even that doesn't really fix it. Like, like from the ground up, you kind of have to fix some aspects of Dead Space in order to get it back up and running as to how we remember it. Um, and e- even so, if you want to do ray tracing, if you want to do a completely overworked uh, lighting system for shadows, you know, it's a horror game. Fucking lighting's really stupidly important for that. If you want to do that, you can't do that with just a remaster. You have to build that shit up from the ground up. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the the example I will always point to is, so there's Shadow of the Colossus on PS2, right? There's the remaster they did for PS3. It's a higher resolution, whatever. They reworked some textures. The PS4 version of Shadow of the Colossus is from the ground is from the is a uh, from the ground up remake, and it's kind of like the same approach they did for Demon Souls, even though they're using that original data, or whatever. It's a mirror that original game. Um, the PS4 version of Shadow of the Colossus looks and plays so much freaking better, and it's because they're able to do that from the ground up. So, um, yeah, very glad they're not just doing like an up res, slap some new textures, and call it a day because. I, th- I think it needs a little bit more than that. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to down- download Dead Space really fast. On your <laughs> Xbox? Yes. Yes. Because That's... I want to replay this game. Because to be completely honest, I don't remember much of Dead Space 1. I remember more of Dead Space 2 because that game was my jam when I was a teen. Like, I loved that game a lot. Uh, and I'm going to echo Blaine on this. Please make Isaac talk. Him talking in Dead Space 2 was like the best thing that they did. I don't want him to be silent anymore, to be completely honest, yeah. because he's actually a very interesting character. And I'm interested in this game because if this game does good, they will most likely remake Dead Space 2. And Dead Space 2 dealt a lot with Isaac's obviously frail mental health after the events of Dead Space 1. And I don't really remember Dead Space 2 doing all that good now that I look back on it. Uh, so that would be very interesting for them to tackle two and one of the big parts of two was his like frailed psyche so i mean my, po- my poor dude went through a lot of shit in dead space i think went through a lot leave it alone <laughs> my poor dude I went through so much now i'm just remembering that and I, and, I, and I think i even tweeted this like my first thing i tweeted after the re- reveal was protect isaac clark 2k whatever whenever this game comes out because yeah poor dude poor dude's gotten his ass kicked a lot Poor dude was literally just an engineer. Like, for all we know, like Leon was, or Claire had military training because of Chris. I think was just an engineer. You know what? I would legitimately love for there to be like even a prologue to getting on the ship to go into the Ishimura, where you see Isaac. He has like a big bubbly personality, like fucking uh, Ichiban from like a dragon. Just be like the super upbeat dude. And then he starts going through this shit, and you see his like entire personality fucking deteriorate. I I, I would love that. I know it's not going to happen, but well, like the one fucking, thing that yeah. really interests me was that the article that IGN put out, the the developer said that this is going to be a one screen game. There's going to be no loading screens, 
even when you boot up the main menu, it goes straight into the game. Like oh, there was nice. loading screens. There is, I think it, it sounds like to me, the God of war approach, what God of war did. The Actually, fact no, no cuts and no, like, now it's I just think, one continual camera. Now that I think about it, I, I do believe the overwhelming majority of even those original games, they, they are, they don't have any cuts. The only exception would probably be dead space one when you're going in between levels. But aside from that, everything else is yeah. Inside. See, no. Seamless. Apparently, this game's not even going to have that. That'd be like cool. it's gonna, it's it is going to be a straight. They said you could play it in one sitting and see no loading screens. So nice. that's what kind of is nuts to me. That that plus, sounds like uh, it'll be good for a horror game. Yeah. Plus, we're we're not even discussing. This is not coming out on PS4 and Xbox. One, I'm kind of glad to be honest. I, I I wanted to take like full freaking advantage. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, I think I think we're gonna start seeing a lot more uh just PS5 and Series X games uh coming up. What like once we get through like the, the pandemic backlog of games that are supposed to come out that are like cross generation, I think we're gonna see a lot more just mm -hmm. uh new games. We're kind, of, we're kind of crossing that threshold anyway. I, I know Microsoft, they still kind of said um, they're, they're still going to be supporting Xbox mm -hmm. One um, for a while, at least at least, in at least in terms of their exclusives. Although, although now I think about it, they also still have to continue support for the, uh, for the Series S, which might actually hold some stuff back. I know they've, they've made like a ton of concessions for even some... Uh, even some recent games where like it is 30 frames or they're missing like ray tracing and stuff, but I don't know. Like ultimately that leads to the, the base <laughs> or not the base, but the higher tier uh, series X, the PS five, whatever that, that results in games that perform better uh, in terms of like frame rate, whatever, then I'm down for it. I think we're also missing. Cause I just thought of this now. How the fuck haptic feed feedback's going to be on this? Which excites the hell out of me. Oh, you know what? I was talking about this on stream the other day that's it's semi-related. If I don't buy collector's editions, I buy all my games digital. If they do another collector's edition, you can get the plasma cutter physical. That was, I would, that was, that was the Dead Space 2 one, because I, I own that. Yeah, and I missed out. So I got that. Like That was oh. the first collector's edition I saved up for as a kid, and I got it. But like, imagine the I, haptic feed feedback on this. Yeah, I wish I got that. And also, yes to the haptic feedback. Like, all the different engineering weapons that he had, like the line cutter and the plasma cutter. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, that's what also... Also, the, the like, the uh, haptic vi vi vibrations as, as well, like... Like, being on a spaceship and, like, feeling like the rumbles or, like, stuff yeah. happening. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the stuff. I'm just, I'm like I'm just really excited to be scared again because I feel like not many horror games have like legitimately freaked me out. I mean there were some times in Resident Evil 8 where I got pretty uh spooked, but n nothing has ever scared me. Like the only two games in recent memory I can think of that actually scared the shit out of me was Dead Space 1 and Alien Isolation. Yeah. So I, like I, the I, fact that it's been so long, I'm just like please. Yeah, I I went over this I think last week, but like I mentioned that like horror in space is the only kind of horror that I really get into. Like, like I'm, I, I was, I'm not a huge, you know, horror fan in the other senses of like, you know, zombies and things like that. But like dead space is my jam and I am really looking forward to seeing what they do with it. I, uh, I hope I want it to, be, I like, uh, I think Blaine went into this a little bit, um last week as well but i hope it's leans more into like a final fantasy 7 style remake and not like a one for one remake c based on you know like how the original trilogy ended mm -hmm. and hopefully like they can do some cool like horror related shit and like psychological stuff and um switch it up a little bit cuz that would be really cool 
yeah. You know, before we move on, I just out of curiosity, I looked up the plasma cutter that came with Dead Space Two. That that is I mini. That I I want yeah, like a. Yeah. I, it was like super small. I I want a life size model, like you know, like you can strip hold the damn thing, and yeah. I uh. I'd, well, I'd pay that? good money for that. Uh. I don't know if anyone caught it from the trailer because it was super soft. And I actually had to rewatch the trailer a couple of times. They use that fucking spooky version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star again yep. in the remake trailer. And I didn't even realize that until I heard it again. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck. I'm like, that. Just all of Dead Space 1. And I don't know if it was just how Dead Space 1 was like set up. I mean, I'll find out when I play it again. But that game was spooky, dude. Like, they, mm-hmm. they did a good job in making that game terrifying. Like back, um, then, you know, it was the early three sixty days. Like they managed to make a game that was fucking terrifying. And yeah, you can you can argue Dead Space is all jump scares, but like it, it does them well. It, it never really comes off yeah. as cheap. Like th- there's a, there was one part when I was streaming where you come in a room and a dude's like he's uh, he's choking on his own vomit. So you know you turn the camera and look him like oh shit is this guy gonna be okay? And so you're you're distracted. You're looking at this dude. And a, and a fucking necromorph pops out like right behind you in a vent that was behind you. Like it, it's going out of its way to distract you, just to uh, just to fuck I with you. I feel like it does the Bioshock effect of horror, where Bioshock was that same exact thing. It always wanted you to look at something else, and then a splicer would come out of nowhere and like bite your fucking ear off, and then would scare the shit out of out of out of you. Mm-hmm. And I feel like horror in gaming hasn't been in that like sphere of it kind of like the bioshock dead space uh fear era in a while and i kind of miss that like i kind of miss the whole like cheesy early 360 horror era and like i'm not talking like fear 2 or like whatever the fuck fear 3 was i'm talking about like the first fear like when the first like shooters to mix like actual like japanese horror elements to it like i'm i miss that era I, I mean, I mean, honestly, if people want to say like a cheap, uh, like jump scare game, I, I would honestly say like, yeah, Fear One, Fear Two are pretty guilty of that because Alma never really even does anything; she's just there to like scare the shit out of you. Yeah, but like Fear, the way that Fear, the first Fear, did it, I think, it was in the same vein as like Bioshock and the first Dead Space. Was Fear always like, yeah, Alma was like kind of cheap jump scares and stuff. But you never knew when she would jump out at you. Fear was super good at like making you think it was just a normal shooter, and then little scary Japanese style girl coming mm-hmm. out of nowhere and scaring the piss out of you. I, I, like, I think it's just more so like even in Bioshock, where the things that are supposed to be the horror elements are things you do have to combat. Whereas it's kind of, um, it's kind of like se- uh, segregated where. Uh, Alma is is completely different from what you're doing for like 99% of that game, but um, I, I guess it works in its own regard. But I don't know. I've, I've been playing Fear Two a little bit just on the side, and maybe just because I played it too many times. God, but Fear like, Two's weird. Oh yeah, Fear Two's got Fear Two's got a weird ass ending. I'm, I'm not gonna Fear say much. Fear Two's weird, but no, I'm just I, you know I'm just glad that EA didn't forget that Dead Space existed. Like it's that that series to me was when you think of space horror yeah people think alien but people i think uh, people also think dead space so i think it's really cool that ea is like don't worry we didn't forget that dead space exists here's here we're actually remaking the first one (laughs) i i guess i can't make the before we move on uh just i guess i can't make the joke anymore that uh ps5 is the worst console because you can't play dead space on it um (laughs) be granted i can still make the same joke about dead space 2 for the time being um, they so better remake Dead Space Ra- 2. Rain and Power, PC, and uh, Xbox, I guess. I really want them to remake Dead Space 2, because I'm actually, again, I'm remembering Dead Space 2 and how fucking great that game was. 